सौरभ भाई पटेल एफ जी आई प्रेसिडेंट गीता बेन मिस्टर सेठ मिस्टर सिद्दीकी मिस्टर अमित पटेल मेम्बर्स ऑफ एफ जी आई एंड इन्वाइटीज टूडे इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर एंड स्पेशली द फर्टिलाइजर सेक्टर इज पासिंग थ्रू ए वेरी यूनिक टाइम many fertilizers have been decontrolled and as it happens when there is some demand supply gap in the beginning uh, just after decontrol era the prices are increasing of potash and phosphatic fertilizer government of india has recently announced in fact is about to announce the uh, new urea investment policy but the basic feed stock for fertilizer for urea in the country is becoming very expensive in the middle east the uh, natural gas for fertilizer is available at 3 dollars which is available for 22 dollars in india this this is one part of the uh, urea in phosphatic fertilizer country does not have any deposit for potash we don't have any deposit so we are dependent on imports and after china india is the largest fertilizer importer in the world and whenever india goes for import and india has only two seasons so whenever we go for import the price is really shoot up and with this now farmers are very resistant to high prices which are currently being charged uh, by the fertilizer companies the central government is very highly resistant to increasing the subsidy so the industry margins are falling rapidly now in this situation we have to really re engineer the whole approach at how we look at fertilizer industry how we look at farmers uh and there are certain very interesting things which we are trying to experiment one is that uh, if you go to any say taluka headquarter or any major village you find there is a one shopkeeper selling fertilizer another one selling seed and pesticides and there is and somebody else providing credit to the farmers and then farm machines and implements are being sold by somebody else in gnfc we are trying to uh, promote a concept of agri marts where right from participation in government schemes any any agriculture related scheme of the government getting credit from the bank getting all the farm implements getting them serviced fertilizer pesticide farm advisory all these facilities should be provided under one umbrella and as per farmer's requirement our concept which on which we are working that farmer can book his fertilizer or seed requirement in january itself for the kharif season and suggest the date on which he requires these material and the agri mart should be able to provide those things uh, those inputs to the farmer as per his requirements as per his timings uh, we have started working in baruch district and uh, tapi district few outlets we are we have started another area where we find that there is a lot of scope for improvement is the way we dispense fertilizer to the farmer we uh, by tradition indian agriculture indian industry sells fertilizer in 50 kg bags to farmers and there are only three types of fertilizers which farmers are able are expected to mix and blend and use it uh, for various crops we have started a in fact we our uh, first unit for commercial installation is ready that why can there cannot be a fertilizer dispensing machine just like petrol pump and farmer can go and uh, take any quantity why he requires only multiples of 50 kg i have seen in many cases the farmers may be requiring only 30 kg of urea but he has to buy 50 kg bag because there is nothing uh, available in smaller uh, quantities in the exhibition our prototype is of this where vending machine is available we would like to have your comments and suggestions that how to improve it further this uh, prototype is remote operated and can be installed in any petrol pump along where farmers go with uh, their tractors etc for the filling and uh, farmer can bring any quantity and they uh, being at petrol pump we guarantee that there will be 
uh, the idea is that to guarantee that fertilizer will be available uh, uh, throughout the year in these wells. Another area where we are working is the micronutrient and pesticide or fungicide coating on fertilizer. Uh, we have recently introduced the neem coated urea and our trials at Nosari Agriculture University for fungicide coated fertilizers have succeeded and very soon we are going to launch that one also. Then we are working on few more complex varieties for the farmers which are crop specific. We are working on sugar cane, then on apple in, for Himachal Pradesh and our uh, potato farmers. These three, four crops we have selected for uh, providing one fertilizer which can take care of their uh, requirements. And in fact, the vending machine has, uh, we suggested Nabar to join as a partner for promotion of this vending machine. And few days ago, Nabar has released some funds also for commercial installation of these machine, machines. Now, this part is traditional industry. Now, what is required at the farm gate, farmer's end, is the, there are very good models of spice park. On that model, can we start vegetable parks in the vegetable growing area where all the facilities are available under one umbrella. Similarly, if you take some of the uh, areas like Rajpipla, which is on the, in fact, one of the largest banana producer, but there is no transport facility in that area. Can there be railway and uh, terminals there which can take, bring the products from there at a very reasonable, uh, say, tariff? There is a concept of Kisan credit card, but it, it's not actually the plastic credit card model which we are used to. We are in dialogue with Dena Bank whether we can convert those uh, Kisan credit cards into actual debit credit cards which farmers can go and uh, use anywhere the, the way we are able to use our credit cards in other places. And then our bank has shown very positive response to this thing. Then uh, at farm gate level, there is another need is to provide very good quality seeds, which luckily some of the major private companies are able to have this thing. In AgriMart, we are trying to link uh, this part also. Uh, GNFC has uh, developed, a, has in fact, uh, a very a huge set, very huge target for promoting tissue culture saplings. We are one of the largest tissue culture sapling providers in the uh, southern Gujarat for banana. And last year we provided 1 million uh, saplings. Our this season's target is 2 million. Next year's target is 3 million saplings of banana. And we have developed uh, the potato tissue culture varieties. We are working on gerbera also. And we are looking up at some tie-up with uh, some renowned international tissue culture company. Now, all this will certainly lead to the targeted 4% growth rate if we take care of the farm gate and the farmer's requirements and fertilizer, credit, etc. Now, the prop still the problem remains of the very high prices of fertilizer, which is beyond the control of the country at present. We do not have the adequate quantity of natural gas, we do not have rock phosphate, we do not have potash mines. Now here the role of uh, organizations like FGI or state government or uh, big uh, say federations come that right just now Africa is growing and Africa is opening up for further development. There are many African countries which are having adequate supply of <coughs> Uh, deposits. There, there, uh, there are f at least five, six countries which have adequate supply of natural gas. Uh, some of the African uh, countries in the western side are having some potash availability also. Now, for any individual company to go to the risky areas of Africa will be a very delicate job. But can we form a consortium through? Uh, federations like FGI supported by state government and have a, uh, a sort of bigger deal with those countries that we can develop their country provided they uh, assure a certain uh, protection uh, from the state government side. 
we get access to land port and natural gas and uh, after uh, and, and with this the industry from gujarat or in, in fact gujarat is quite gujaratis are very active in africa and we can use that contact also to promote one or two mega industrial zones in these countries from where we can where we can convert the raw material to finished products and bring it to our side where we can cut down the cost etc uh, this suggestion i have uh, made to fiki who are looking very interested uh, even if fgi can start working on this concept and create a consortium that will drastically cut down the prices of the farm inputs including pesticides to the farmers in the long run thank you